Hello and welcome to another custom figure review. Today we're going to be looking at the Synth Doctor's TARDIS. Um, this is a custom, obviously, because it doesn't exist. That's probably very obvious from the title. But yeah, this is my second classic TARDIS uh, custom since uh, I've stopped doing reviews. Um, and this one's probably had the most changes to and the most work that went into it. So let's get into it, shall we? Now, um, surprisingly, this base is not the seventh Doctor's TARDIS. Again, this started out reaching down as the third Doctor's TARDIS. Again, because someone bought too many. Um, now, the bottom, um, after the second Doctor's TARDIS, I thought, mm, maybe I should change the base because I am a fool. So yeah, as you can see, the base is a lot squarer uh, than uh, the actual uh, toy versions. I've just noticed that I didn't fill in that hole, which is lovely. Um, yes, the square base itself around here is entirely new. Um, yeah, to get rid of this weird edge here because I'm not a fan personally. Second change was, as you can see, all of the classic TARDISes their signs up here stop here and on this prop that i was basing it off which was a late fifth and early sixth doctor's tardis um it goes all the way to the end like the new series it goes right to the end and also the top and the bottom is thicker so you will notice if i bring it closer and it decides to focus that they are come on focus slightly thicker. This is just a card. Um, it also extends them out slightly further, so they're slightly wider. But yeah, I had to literally cut, like stabbing into the plastic and removing the edge from each one of these, which was the longest thing I've ever, to, ever had to do. It's not, uh, but it was really annoying. Um, yeah, and that is one of the biggest changes. And then the third is the roof has been constructed entirely out of um, card. We'll just hit the camera there. It's entirely built out of card. This is card, surprisingly, but it is, has sort of solidified into um, a nice plastic look. I see you can't actually tell. And this literally in, included having to cut specifically sized uh, pieces of thick card to create each level um, it's not perfect but you can see the back that the roof didn't line up properly and also around the lamp sort of collapsed at one point so that looks horrific at the moment and then the original lamp from uh, the uh, retired TARDIS has been restored on top um, these bits actually that doesn't exist uh, so this actually sits, the lamp itself, sits directly in this hole here, slightly higher up. So instead of just sticking out like it normally would, it does stick like on top of this, so it's slightly higher. You'll be able to see the height difference there. Um, and it, yeah, it just sits just above uh, where it should do on this, so that it fits with the, uh, that TARDIS. You can see that the roof isn't that far off, considering this is custom built from scratch, from about from the sides here all the way up is custom built, uh, and it's not as a, it's a few millimeters off. And obviously the lamp is sunk down like it should be for this prop, rather than sticking out the top like that, because I think that looks horrifically ugly. So yeah, new signs, new roof, lamp restored to the correct height so it fits in able to see how a bit wonky the roof is and then uh, the whole thing has just been repainted um, into multiple different colors um, I started out as uh, a dark blue then I put light light layers on top because I was trying to want and then once I've done the weathering I added these white pieces all over the, over the to uh, bring out some detail and also replicate like the bird poo look that some of the, the sixth doctor 
promotional images look like. That looks awful on that side, let's forget about that. Um, so yeah, there is my sixth Doctor's TARDIS. And luckily, reaching over to my cabinets, here we go, here we go, sixth Doctor, yeah. This is him doing his thing. So here is a lovely sixth Doctor's TARDIS. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.